It has been 10 years since you played in Hot Woman. Okay, I've got your talent. We saw, you know, Zoe has now played her. I saw you commented on her Instagram. I was wondering if you've seen the new Batman yet and what you think of Zoe. So excited. I have been doing this. <laughs> so I haven't been able to go to see it yet, but I have a friend who um, saw it this weekend and said not only is she phenomenal in it, but how much fun it was to be in a packed movie theater and realizing that people are coming back to movies in droves and how great it was to celebrate that. So I'm so happy for her, um, and I haven't had a chance to see it yet, so, but I look forward to that. What do you care about? What are you gonna pass? Make a business out of that feeling. We need a name. We. We live. We dream. We work. You and Jared, your chemistry just jumps off the screen. How did you two develop that? I don't know if you knew each other from beforehand, but their their love comes through so much. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so so relieved to hear that. Um, I I had met Jared, and uh, but we we've never we'd never hung out, and um, I'm a huge admirer of his work. And I'd love to say that there was something specific that we did that we. I don't know, went to a yoga class together, we hung out, we had coffee, all this stuff, but um, but that didn't happen. He came to set as Adam, and I met him as Rebecca, and it was just, and it was there, and the best thing that, and, and what we kind of agreed to do um, without speaking about it was we just kind of got out of the way, and these two characters have such an intensity to their relationship, and we just sort of honored that uh, in between action and cut, and then, in between takes, we just kind of kept it very calm and loving and uh, not much chit chat, but it was all very um, supportive. And then, you know, we would just connect every couple of weeks, just be like, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful to be for this whole experience. And it was just beautiful. It was really fun and beautiful. I have a responsibility to think bigger. I'm a golden goose laying golden eggs. He nails the, the accent and the He's hair good. and the voice. He's good. <laughs> He's no slouch, that Jared Leto. What was your reaction when you first met him as Adam? It just all felt very true. Mm. And and also, um, Jared just set such a high bar for himself. So when he walked in, in a way, it was, he was the part of the series I was waiting for. And I just thought, okay. It was like a tuning fork or something. I was just like, I just, I just felt something open inside of me. And I just thought, okay, that's what we're aiming for. We're going, wow. We're Let's do it. Let's let, let, let's do this. There were times when we would be acting in a scene and I'm just like, it just feels like we're free falling right now. It's amazing. It was wild. And, wow. um, and I just really loved it. I loved it. Are you a maverick or a muse? A muse. Tell me about your goals. I want to be at Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair is not for muses. Then I want to change my answer. And of course you, you know, you're playing this real person as well, of course, Rebecca, and um, changing your voice a little bit and, and getting her mannerisms. What kind of research did you do to play her and to nail her? Well, um, I work with a wonderful researcher called Amy Hammond, and she was really integral in, in terms of doing a lot of the heavy lifting of the research into Rebecca's life and what her world is like. Rebecca spoke in a lot of interviews about certain books that uh, had a big influence in her, so I made sure that I read those, and I just sort of tried to, you know, she's someone who so identifies as a spiritual person, so I tried to really get to know her um, that way. But at the end of the day, I just, I was I was one member of a team, and I, I, I just really trusted the writing and hoped that I was doing a, yeah. doing her justice. She's a, an actress, and in some parts you have to act as an actor acting. Was that a little, <laughs> what's that like? What I uh, wanted to show, because I, I, I'm not a fan of saying that someone's a good actor or a bad actor. I think that that's unhelpful and God knows we all have days where we're in the pocket and days when we're really not. <laughs> um, but I, I think that I, what I wanted to show is someone who maybe was try attempting things, somebody who mm -hmm. thought they could do things that maybe they didn't quite have the skills to do yet. She's also a yoga instructor. Are you a yogi or did you need to brush up on your yoga? I'm much better now than I was. Yo I, I've been I've been kind of uh, pr practicing inconsistently for a long time, but I had to get really serious in order to play this part. And um, I wound up doing it almost daily for months and months and months and months. And then we got to the scene where Rebecca's teaching a yoga class and uh, the scene ended and my yoga instructor who came to set that day turned to me, she's like, so tomorrow? And I'm like, oh no, we're, we're, I'm in. I'm in, I love this now. So I, so even 
po post series, even after the series was finished, I've I've continued on with it. I actually had a class with her this morning. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I love really that. Cool. I had spoken to Kyle about how he also met Jared as Adam, and he told a very sweet story about how they finally, after filming, like went rock climbing, and yes. oh, he met Jared. I'm so <laughs> jealous. Sorry. I'm really I'm I'm waiting for my meeting Jared moment. We uh, but to be to be fair, we do we do text and we are in communication, and so I, I have a text relationship with Jared. But yeah, I'm hoping to meet him one of these days. I, I, he seems like a wonderful person. <laughs> I hope that happens. I think we're doing the premiere, so it's gonna happen there, right? At some point. At some point, he and some I will point. be in the same place as ourselves. <laughs> um, there are so many great uh, takeaways from the show. I, I wondered what, you know, as you got to play this really layered person, did you have a takeaway from the script and from these characters? I find that like if I try to do that, I'm, I find it really hard to act. I can't step outside the part enough to imagine what's the takeaway or what what's the message or what my people feel about it. But one of the things I read in a book that was about a spiritual practice that Rebecca was very interested in was judge all persons favorably. And that was how I approached playing her because we all know how it ended. Um, we all know some of the stories that came out about it, but I just thought, what if, what if she really was a sincere person with good intentions and the execution of that fell short of what she was hoping for. That's that's heartbreaking, and I can relate to that. And um, and that's a really interesting character. And it and it, it felt much less. Um, I don't know. It, it felt like it was more in line with the way I try to live my life. I'm not interested in judging anybody or humiliating anybody or dragging anybody or any of that stuff. Yeah. I'm just a human being, and and so she. And and it felt like a way of approaching playing someone like that. Yes, yeah, my love. I'll meet you in the car. Okay, you sure you're ready? Yes, yes, it's a right. My love, you're not wearing a shirt. Will somebody grab me a shirt?